Today on the North American Journeyman, we're back in blue as Honduras enters the 2026 World Cup. We're playing all three games today in Group L. Hopefully it's not three L's. Because it hasn't been a good start in the friendlies, not too bad. You know about the Peru one. We played Czechia, started out with um, a well-worked, what ended up being an old, own goal because the shot was so far off to one side and then it got deflected back into the goal. But hey, we'll take it. We were up early and then they just dominated the rest of the match, Czechia. Then the other friendly was against USA. They just bossed us. We created a couple opportunities. We decided to change the tactic up and go a little bit more. Let's try and control possession instead of just lumping it downfield counterattack, which is what we were doing here and here. So that's the strategy against Ukraine today. We'll play all three games, so we'll jump right in here pretty soon, but... Let's see, well, they're ranked 22nd. I think they're, Morocco's the best team in the group because they're up to it. They were up 8th, now they're 9th. And then Iran is 26th. There's been a couple other games that have gone on. I'll keep you abreast of what's going on. No real uh, upsets, anything surprising, really, so far. I guess New Zealand beat Colombia. That's probably the biggest one. Outside of that, everything's kind of... Everybody's kind of holding serve for the most part. Yeah, nothing too surprising. And we're in the last group, so I don't I think that's probably a bad thing. Usually. Here's the results from today. Jamaica held their own a little bit against England, but weren't able to come away with the win there. I guess our best opportunity for points is against Iran or today. So hopefully we can get a decent start. Here's the team. I'm trying Ellis as a round oiter on attack. He kind of knows it. You can see the issue we have here, though. The issue we have is the defense is bad, but they're more tactically familiar because these are my three players. And the offense is more talented, but they don't know what the heck we're trying to accomplish. So... I don't think anything good is going to come of these three games. But here we are in the World Cup. Hey, you never know. This, this is why we play the game. Yeah, pressure's all on them. Can we get some reactions, please? At least from my own players. Yikes. Okay, well, we're going to do some weak-footed efforts. They're not super fit. Mudrick on the left. Zinchenko... Yeah, they're they're gonna be a tough a tough opponent for sure. Tactical hmm. Yeah, sure, maybe that. Let's let's talk negatively. How much easier is life as a head coach when you have Devrin Garcia in your squad? My center back, he's He's not that good, but yeah, I won't hesitate to use him since he's one of our best options. He'll settle in. Nobody's really like 100% match fit, so. Okay, game on. We're in Levi Stadium, Santa Clara. Looks like all Honduran fans to me. Flying up to the game, crossing the border. We'll just go key highlights since it's three games. And it's probably going to be... Maybe we'll go extended on the last one if we have a chance. Let's go and pull up the league table. We got some possession here early against Ukraine. Lopez is already in a 7.0. Must have made a nice save. I wonder if we should have seen that as a highlight, maybe. Key highlights. Uh, 
All right, Rosales is on a 6.5 at the yellow. Can we work anything in this game? KG, KG. That's okay. I'm okay with that. When it's us without much chance, Mudrick, can we tackle him hard or just give him a whole bunch of space on the left wing? That works too. Cuts inside, cross. Finds Saganov off the post. Mudrick had the chance to put it back in on an open net. Alvarez was kind of blocking his sight though. That's, I mean, okay. We got away with one a little bit. That was a good effort out there from their right winger. I think they're playing two inverted forwards. Let's trap outside. <sighs> inside forwards, rather. Inverted inside. Same thing. Okay, we have no shots. That's probably all right. We're going to go ahead and go... We can very much win this match. You've, you've done well. I mean, not great, but keep going. Keep going. You weren't that bad, but we haven't really created anything. So we're going to do this. I'm doing dribble less. We have a lot of possession. We're playing slightly higher tempo, so that's kind of encouraging. Doing that, and then dropping off, but close down more. It seems to be kind of working. They're going to... I don't know what's going to happen here, but... Changes, changes. Everybody's composed. Lozano's motivated. We got some bench players that are ready to come in. Most of the youngsters that I did play in both of those build-up games. Maldonado, I played him twice. He's the 16-year-old. Not coming in today, though. Rochez is aggressive. Flores is the youngster striker. We just stick with what we have for a little bit. Come on, gentlemen. It's always on a yellow. I don't like that. Midfield's doing okay, though. It's just to remove team instruction because our crossing has been bad. Take a point today. I mean, I'll take the fact that they haven't created anything. I think we need to try and change some things up, though. Ellis is anxious and he's not playing that good. We're going to bring in Toro on that side. He's a bit more of a... He can dribble, yeah. He can cross, actually. Winger it is. I'm okay with that. We're going to get rid of this. Costa's nervous, but I don't... Should I bring in Moncada? Sure. Sure. 16 years old, welcome to the World Cup. The right back's on a 6.1. Our backup right back is Mailer Nunez. He's our real Sociedad boy. We'll do this for now. Make me proud. 16 years old. It's like watching your son play his first game. Here we go. We're going to build this out of the back. And we're going to score a goal. We're not going to give away a stupid pass. Costa. He's got the ball in the middle, but he loses it. Don't I have dribble less on? I think I do. Tisganov. Zinchenko. Can we make a tackle here? Over the top. Mudrick header. It's over the bar. Whew. We're playing a little too wide, maybe? Narrow it in. Slow it, slow it down a little bit. Here we go. Alvarez. Toro drives inside. I like it. Now make the pass. Stop dribbling. Good. Look at all this space. Rivas. Rosales. Rosales. Back to Rivas. He's got somebody on his right. Takes the shot himself. Tried to curl it. Good effort there from Rivas. Ugh, that was a lot of space, though. I liked it. Good, good job, boys. Keep it up. We have 0 0.07 XG. They went to a 4-4-2. Mudrick is a winger. Interesting. Here we go. P. 
building out of the back. 75th minute, we're still tied. That's not great, though. Trubin. Zinchenko. Get a tackle in here, maybe, on Mudrick. Closing him down pretty well. I'm not really getting four. This should be us. Here we go. Come on. Counter. Let's go. Send some people in some space. Good job from Rosales there. Hanging on to it. Ball in the middle of Ariaga. Here we go. Acosta. The pass through. Just takes a shot from distance. Okay. I mean, I appreciate it because the goalkeeper didn't look too confident there, but... Whoa. Ariaga the Demon is tired. Header oh, from Ariaga down. Trubin's there, though. That was pretty good. All right, Alvarez, I think we take out. I think we go... Ca We're already cautious. We're always cautious. All right, what do we want to do here? Rosales, he's on a yellow. We just bring our boys, probably, right? Debbie Flores. And he's playing a 6.0. I think we bring on Mailer Nunez. Maldonado can play it, but he's, his mentality is just so frustrating to me. I hate watching it. Make an impact. Royal Society boys coming on the field. You know, we might even do another one. Rivas isn't doing it. He's a little, he's a little tired. Bringing on Walter Lagos. Winger, support. Forget about this. Try and get early cross in. Whipped is fine. Pass it into space. There's space to be played into. And no, that's good enough. Go make an impact. He likes it. We're going balanced. We're in this game a little bit with Ukraine. Late. Here we go. Anything going to happen? Late chance. Late chance going to fall to anybody. We've created a little bit. We might end up taking a draw here in our first game in the World Cup against Ukraine. Nil-nil. Bookings all over because we're going in hard on the tackles. And it kind of worked. They had some good opportunities for sure. We had maybe one. But I'm going to... Hey, that's great. That's a great start. Are you kidding me? We snag a win? Guaranteed through to the next round. Got Morocco next. And then... Uh, Iran. So, I'll just keep you here through the whole World Cup. Might as well. No, there's going to be... All sorts of emails and goings on and stuff in between. So we'll chop it up. We'll be right back for the next one. All right, we're back for the second game. Show you what's been going on around the World Cup a little bit. So Morocco beat Iran 4-1 in the first game. And Iran just lost to Ukraine. So all we need is three points, I think, probably. We can have a look around at the other groups. United States lost 6-3 to three to Nigeria. That was an interesting result that I noticed. Other than that, it's still yet to be decided. No real big boys going down. It's what you'd expect. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, this is, it's just the bottom team, and then most third-place teams get through. So the group stage isn't that exciting. But for a team like us, to get through would be magnificent. So we're against Morocco today. Toughest game. They flew to a five to or a four to one, rather. Ariaga's dead. We're probably gonna be a, one of those we rotate a lot kind of teams. We could play David Ruiz back here. He's got no match fitness at all. That's okay. That's fine. Um, yeah, our defenders, though, they're all pretty tired. Oh, Moncada? 
was um, a record breaker for the youngest player ever to play in the World Cup. 16 years old, three caps. He's a little tired though too, so he's, and look at all these yellows. Guess we can start Nunez. And we'll go for, we'll go for Degas. Oh God, look at that defense. You know what? Maldonado, so I can have somebody to blame. Okay. Rosales is a little tired. Yeah, you know what? We're just, we're going to rotate heavy. Maybe it's a bad idea. Up top, I'm okay. We'll sub those guys out. The defenders are going to get some rotation. Lopez played a really good game last game, 7.4. He's really not that great. An eccentric goalkeeper. So he either plays really, really well or really, really bad. Yeah, go ahead and hit Akraf Hakimi hard. That would be nice. Swing goal difference in our favor. Hold up our end of the bargain. I wish you all the best of luck. We can book. If we win and results go our way, we'll swing. I don't care. Who cares? The pressure's all on them. That's that's what's happening. Moldonado's mentality at it again. Um, we're just keeping him fresh. Amrabat is out. It's a team game, you know what I mean? I mean, one player is one player. So many changes. Eh, we want to stay fit and fresh for rotation because I think our major opportunity. I mean, if we pulled something out here, but our major opportunity is Iran. If we got a draw here, then a draw against Iran, I mean, that's three points you probably need. It's, that's not a guarantee, though. I think three points with a zero goal differential would for sure get you through in this World Cup format. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this new format. 48 teams, all these games. I mean, I like watching World Cup games, so... I ain't mad, but I don't think I'm going to be able to watch every single one of them. I watched most games in Qatar. I mean, look at us playing defense. I don't know what to think about this. Keep it up, though. Nunez is on a yellow. Okay, there's all sorts of transfer dealings going on that I don't really want to muddy up while we're playing in between the games and stuff like that. There's some exciting stuff going on with the Royal Society, but um, mostly loans. Hey, they have two shots. I mean, this might be a good opportunity to go for the win. Good passing. They liked it. What do we want to do to try and score a goal, though? Ellis just isn't cutting it. You know what we're going to do? We're going to put him up top. Can Lozano play on the wing? He kind of can. We might just come out like this for like a minute. He likes pressing forward attack. I'm down. That's what he was playing anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down with this. Let's just, we're going to try that. Maybe it'll muddy up their defensive structure just a little bit. Encourage, we'll just do this for like 10 minutes and then switch them back. We need Ellis closer to the goal, I think. He's not really a provider on the wing. Okay, it didn't do anything. We tried. He's down to a 6.2 now. Let's go back. You can stay as that inside forward. I'm okay with that. Any changes we want to make, though? Maybe just taking Lozano out. For Rochez, who's aggressive. Get aggressive, son. 
Get aggressive. Go make a hard tackle. You're pressing forward. All right, we're on the defense here on a throw. Masrawi. Good from Acosta. Interesting attempt at a clearance. Rochez can't quite get to it. He just wasn't aggressive enough. 60 minutes and Morocco's looking to build. I don't like this. Brahim cross pass through. Good tackle though there from Garcia. They're pressing us up pretty high. Let's build out of the back. Don't just lump it down the field. Don't do it. Okay, out to Acosta. Rivas loses it. Pass wasn't good enough. They got numbers in the box. Hakimi crossed in. Headers down. Lopez should have come out for that. He's a sweeper keeper, and sometimes he just doesn't come out. Damn. That just was... <sighs> Rivas just hasn't been it, man. Just come out for that. You've got to come out for that. It's at the six-yard box, a looping cross in. We don't want to get smashed now, though, because that might rub us out of this competition. Ellis is on a 6.1. Oh, come on, my guy. Taking him out again. <sighs> Bring in Toro. Or we're, we're bringing in the youngsters. You know what? Garcia. He's on loan at the Royal Society. He knows how to play. Moncada. He's ready to do it again. I mean, defense hasn't played bad. That header was kind of rough. Garcia. I think he was the one who got beat on it. All right, make me proud, youngsters. I'm trying to bring Moncada in on loan. It's not working. Yeah, Rivas just hasn't been good. I'm gonna play Palma over here. Hmm. Let's push it up a little bit. Yeah, we'll leave that on. I mean, we're competitive with Morocco. We're not creating much. What can you do? All right, we're gonna go for something a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna try it. Try that. I'm out of subs. Damn, I didn't mean to do that. Did I use five subs or I just made three stoppages? Oh, well. Let's swap these two around. You can go box to box. You can play more supportive and you can be a Mazzella on attack. Mankata, get up the field. Nunez, get up the field. My chair keeps dropping like an inch. I've got that sinking feeling. Come on, gentlemen. Well, we haven't scored a goal in the World Cup. Unless... Ruiz, no. Header across. Maldonado had a chance. It's gone, though. Two games. It's a loss. Morocco's through on six points. You did yourselves proud. Not too bad. Why do you think your team has found the basic purpose of soccer matches? That's an interesting way to put it. Scoring goals so difficult to do. 
Is that really the basic purpose of soccer matches, is to score goals? Is it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I agree with that terminology usage. Um, underlying numbers are all right. I mean, we haven't scored goals, but we have one game with a chance to progress if we can beat Iran. So I'm, I'm not... And actually, since we're the last game played in the group, we'll even know that if, if a draw will get us through, which two points could potentially get us through. Probably not, but it, potentially. Yeah, there's plenty of positives. Spirited effort, you know. Yeah, they played admirably. We, I mean, we did, just didn't... We're not creative enough. We, we just... Nobody really knows how to play together. I wouldn't say that we're struggling. But we'll be back. It's a, it looks like a bad run. But we're in an okay position, all right? We're going to play a little bit more going for it, but we'll see what position we're in after these messages. And we're back here for the last game. Looks like Jamaica got a win. Let's take a look at the groups, see if two points can get us through. Probably not. So there's a six pointer, there's a four pointer, three points, negative three goal differential, three points, negative six goal differential, three points, negative three goal differential, three points, negative two goal differential, three points, plus two, three points, minus one, three points, minus six, three points, minus two, four points. So a draw does not cut it. We need to win, and that would send us through regardless of what happens. But we can look back through real quick at who's probably getting through. Kyr Kyrgyzstan's out. Kosovo's out. Paraguay's out. Saudi Arabia's well out. Minus 12 goal difference. New Zealand is out despite winning their first game against Colombia. Angola's out. Qatar is out. Burkina Faso is out. Cape Verde is out. Switzerland, bottom of their group. Yeah, Jamaica may or may not get through. Uh, Belgium kind of struggling behind Spain, Ecuador. Syria's out. And one of Honduras or Iran is going to be out. Who will it be? We've changed up our system a little bit. I've swapped them as all over to the right. Conmore attacking. Moncada's starting. He's bombing down the field, attacking. Bringing Palma in over here. We're playing Ellis up top as an advanced forward. And Rivas is swapping over to the right wing. Going balance system. We've changed a couple little things. We'll watch this one on extended highlights because this is our biggest opportunity. Standard of vision. Get your eyes checked. Let's go. This is the World Cup. My 16-year-old left back. Everything hinges on him. Let's just say, yeah, good luck, everyone, I guess. I'll do the old, here's what I like to do. I like to put my hands in my pockets, say I have faith, and then put them out on my hips, and say that I trust you, and then put my hands together and say I have faith. I don't know, whatever. I'm getting all, I'm getting all, uh, all this motion here. We're trying to create some motion so we can maybe score a World Cup goal. Where does Lozano go since I benched him? I mean, he's... He just needs to find his form. He might come in. Probably not, though. To have a very similar tactical approach. It'll be fine margins. We need to focus. He needs to show everybody what he's capable of. Let's go. Same system. They have a youngster. We have a youngster. I left Nunez in, and I did not mean to do that. This is why I'm the head coach of the national team. That's okay. He'll probably just come out at halftime. I said we we're going to watch extended highlights. Maybe we can get a better feel of what the actual gameplay is like. I would reckon that this isn't going to be a goal, since it's I just turned it on extended highlights. But this is a good break. With numbers, can he find a good pass back across? There it is! Palma! So close! 
So close. Let's go. Near post. Mariaga's header. Not quite there. I like it. I like it, boys. I like that. That's a good little counterattack. Palma. I benched him for a couple games. Wasn't liking what he was doing. Acosta with a distant shot. Berienvond. Snags it. Looks like he just grabbed it. Pinned it up against the backboard. Up against the crossbar. Saeed. Plays Alahyar. That shot's not going anywhere for them, for sure. We pushed the line up a little bit, but we said back off. Pushed it up to standard, said drop deep. We'll see if that helps at all. Hosseini. Savari. Yakin Baktash. Moharami down the right wing. I don't know if I can pronounce all these and keep going here. What, let's just see what they're doing. Trying to break our lines. That's a good position right there that we need to close down a little better. Center back coming up on that. I don't like it. Their left winger. Top of the box now. Tarabi whips one. Thought that might have snuck in there. We look a little stretched defensively. We do not have much possession either. We're actually going to go back cautious. For a little bit. Hit him on the break. It's fine for now. Palma, 6.3. You're proving me right, man. Ellis is playing better up top, but we really need him to do something. Come on, we need... We need to get some firmer tackles in here. I said drop off. Oh, Tarabi's threw in on goal. Ooh, Lopez makes the save. We're going to change that, though. I don't like this drop off more. We need to we need to push up the line a little bit. Let's go. They might get in behind a couple times. We just need to hope that Lopez has a really good game. He doesn't like to come out of his box. Come on, guys. Like to see a goal in the World Cup. Here we go. Let's see what we can build through Ariaga. Rosales in the middle. Finds Ellis. Penalty. Rosales. Ooh, the shot goes just wide. Going back balance. Come on, gentlemen. Come on, guys. We're, we're in this. Yeah, Nunez is playing trash. He's coming out at halftime. Mokata's not playing that good either. Might just freshen up both sides. Good tackle, good step there from Mardiaga. Mokata plays it safe. Let's build here. Garcia. Ball of the top. Ball of the top. No. Rivas. Slip him through. Come on. There it is. Rosales. Cross it. Dang. Shots blocked. Still go here. There you go. Ariaga's in a good spot. Takes a shot right at Barry and Vand or whatever his name is. I got a couple ideas. I don't want to change up the tactic too much, but I got a couple ideas. Can we do something here? Played out left. Moncada. Moncada find a cross in. Just takes the shot. I like the idea. Berenvond. That name's going to haunt my nightmares if we can't score a goal here. Palma. Near post, Ellis. Leaning back. Can't get to it. He's offside, I guarantee it. Acosta! Oh, that spot, that late runner, the Mazzala-type runner in the middle of the box is just working right now. Oh, we should have a goal. We should have a goal. Pumping the fists. We can win this thing. Keep going. You weren't that bad. Keep going. Only the players that kind of know me like what I have to say. Nunez, sorry you're out. Alvarez is coming in. It's the only change I'll make now. Need more from Palma to go attacking. 
He's not a great finisher, is he? Yeah, he's not bad, actually. Don't attack with you. We're working the ball in the box. I like the higher tempo. Can lose that for now. We're gonna do that. Garcia is 6.4. He's the most tired. I've played him, I think, all of all three games. Hosseini. Just sitting watching. They are building here. This is a highlight right off the bat. See if what we change tactically can help us here. They don't look too confident in breaking us down, but they're definitely playing slow. Okay, we watch a whole minute of nothing. I mean, we're creating stuff. Fifty-sixth minute. Oh, heavy touch. All right. Foul. That's none of those are fouls. Those are all clean. Those are fine. Here's our counterattack. It's ugly. We lose it. But Palma driving down the left inside the box. Foul him, foul him, foul him, foul him, foul him. Plays it back. Moncada. Acosta's in the takes a shot, curves it in. Brian Acosta, one nothing, Honduras. Let's go. Beautiful. The counter is it's too slow. We just need to maintain possession. We can do all this stuff. There we go. We scored the goal that we desperately needed. Can Honduras send themselves through to the next round? Fifty seven. Minutes into the game, Acosta, turn, goalkeeper's unsighted, Ellis is blocking the view, and we're up. On Iran, can we close it out? They haven't created much, but they have all the possession. Moncada is dead. All right, we're making changes. 67th minute. We can still make three stoppages. Maradiaga is nervous. Garcia's not playing great. Moncada's coming out for Costa. We're just going to go wing back defend. Wing back defend. For the winger support. Zala support. Yeah, ball winning midfielder support. Pressing forward, attack. Okay. I don't think we can take out Ariaga. Maybe Rosales for Debbie Flores. Can Rivas play back? Okay, both of these guys can drop back in. I think so can. No, nobody else can really play just straight up right midfield. So we'll probably keep both wingers on. Might change out Ellis at some point. And I think Rosales. That might be the rest of the changes that we make. Make me proud, Acosta. You're losing your spot to a 16-year-old. Maybe Toro can come in. Morocco's beating Ukraine. 75th minute. No highlights here. It's very cagey, just how we want it right now. Close this thing out. Right, Palma is dead. Palma's absolutely dead. So is Ariaga and Rosales. Palma hasn't really done much. So we can bring on... We could do Rivas over there. We could bring in Lagos. Is Lagos good defensively? Three tackling. Probably not. I think probably going to go Toro and just keep them pushed up. Ooh, this, these are the tough moments, aren't they? These are the hardest. Can, Rivas can move back, right? If 
Flores? No. Yikes. Yeah, we're going Toro. Honestly, Toro's better on this side, though. As an inverted winger, you know, he's more of a winger. And Rivas, he can play inverted winger, and then we'll eventually drop him back here, maybe. Maybe. Just go make an impact. You can do some. You can do stuff. I think we take Ellis out next. We only have one more stoppage, don't we? Eighty sixth. 88th minute. We can make one more stoppage. Ariaga is a beast and he's kind of dead. Rosales is also a beast. Debbie Flores can kind of play defensively and he's good ish. Trust him though. And I think we bring Ellis out for an aggressive player. Rochez. And we drop Rivas back in. Toro doesn't like it. And everything else relatively stays the same, except for we do that. Don't worry about that. One more tactical thing I want to change, probably. It's just slow the tempo down a little bit. We're in there attacking third. Flores, Alvarez crosses in. Rivas is there, though. Header's over. I like it. It was our highlight. That's kind of the important thing. Here's another highlight here before this comes through. We're going to want to do this, probably. Close it out. Okay, why are we doing that? I don't like that. The nerves got to Mara Diaga there. Garcia's on a 6.3. Down the field. Can we close it out? Toro. Come on, take it to the corner flag. Run into space. He crosses in. Rochez is there. Header. Toro strutting his stuff. That was the highlight. That was it. Fire him up. Yeah, we're firing him up. Last second. Piss him off. Tackle hard. Close it out. Ariaga. Rochez. Garcia. Ariaga. Plays Jonathan Toro through. Takes a shot. It's tipped over. And we have one minute to close it. Just close it out. Close it out. Close it out, Honduras. Close it out, boys. Let's get ourselves qualified for the next round, shall we? Yeah, just take a card. Near post, don't like it. Should go to us, though. Tarabi, don't let him get to it. Good job, Flores. Back in. It's offside. Don't care. That's it. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. We've got to be through. Acosta, it's tackled. That's it. Full time. Honduras, are you kidding me? Let's go. Hope you enjoyed that one. Probably haven't seen me get into the game. My chair's dropped like six inches. I'm like down here by the end. Like, come on. Come on, boys. Oof. Oh. Back in blue. Back in action. We weren't at our best, but that was pretty good. I'll take that one. Are you kidding me? Who scored the winning goal? It was a Brian Acosta. We've scored one goal in the group stage. And we got through. Taking a look at our defenders, I did not think that's how this uh, group stage was going to go. Look, we kind of dominated this game. Cares about possession. We won. Look at this camera. Look at the detail on this camera. We finished third. Qualify for the second round. And I see who we get to play. It's Italy. Well, it was a fun run. Oh, man. It's Italy. <laughs> At Energy Stadium, which is the stadium we just played two games in a row. 
The winner plays Jamaica or Germany. So Jamaica got through. We'll just we'll take a look at the groups, and I'm not going to play another one because I'm sure this is a crazy long episode. The World Cup special. All right, USA, Nigeria, Czechia get through. Yeah, Tunisia gets through as a third place team. Algeria doesn't. Suriname doesn't, but a decent effort from the Surinamese. Ghana doesn't get through. Ireland gets through. Poland gets through. Australia gets through. Oh, jumped there. South Korea doesn't get through. I don't know why that one switched. Wait, what? Sorry, that's how it should be. Jamaica gets through. Belgium gets through. So we were one of the better third-place finishers. Heck, if Morocco would have beat Ukraine by more, we would have finished second. Who does Ukraine get to play? Where's Ukraine? I miss them? England. Okay, so, well, whatever. I'd rather play Italy, probably. But if they got through, it would be Croatia-Senegal, which is probably better than Germany. Either way, all that matters is that we got through. We have a chance to play against Italy. That was fun. That was exciting. I hope you enjoyed that one. One goal for, one goal against over the course of probably like a 45-minute episode, but that's the World Cup action that we're here for. Honduras. I'm liking Honduras lately. Let's see what we can do against Italy. It'll be on the next episode. We'll see how long that episode is. That might be pretty telling. Should we play it on this one? No, we're going to cut it off. We're going to hack it off here. It was fun. Okay. We'll catch you on the next episode. It'll be the rest of the World Cup. Maybe. I don't know. If we're not going to play, if we make it to the final, we're probably not going to do the whole thing, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. All right. See you guys next time. Rock on Honduras. What's their nickname? I think it says it here. Doesn't have one. No, sorry. Catrachos. Catrachos. Is that a swear? I don't know. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>